Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm continuing with uh, the workflow series. So uh, continuing again with the Santa Cruz project from uh, early January 2013. So um, when you last saw the video, I went through and had gone through and rated most of the photos. I, I finished that up here, so everything that we have in front of us is now rated. Anything else has been rejected, and so everything has been tagged with my workflow color orange. Uh, the next thing is keywording. Now, keywording does take a fair amount of time. That is where uh, I will spend uh, a significant amount of time. Uh, for this particular series, it will be you know, kind of easier because most of the pictures is really th the same thing over and over again, so the keywording becomes very fast. Uh, I'll select a lot and keyword all at once. Um, you know, lift and stamp is another approach. Uh, one thing I use very uh, frequently are the keyword buttons. So I'm going to press um, D on my keyboard, and actually if sometimes you'll see D and you'll just get these play buttons that come down hit capital D and you'll get a button bar. Uh, I've set up a button bar, I've customized a whole bunch of different buttons and you can go to this edit buttons at the bottom and set you know uh, groups of buttons obviously so you know for example I usually leave image place as my, uh, sorry image type as my uh, default button set. Uh, I found that um, you know things like my family or you know people you know man, woman, children, uh, places I'll start to type those in. You'll see that in a moment. Same thing for settings. Um, human expression and emotion, if I'm dealing with pictures of people, those are good buttons to have. So these all correspond to, you know, let me hit capital H, you know, various things um, in, my, uh, in my keywords hierarchy. So, you know, here's where I have people, um, you know, description, you can see I have human characteristics, you know, expressions, or emotions, and the ones that I use more commonly, I'll put down in the button bar. Um, I can only fit so many things in here before it becomes, you know, nearly pointless. Uh, and particularly you know, for subject too, I've got you know, lots and lots of keywords, and I'll add as I go on. Where if I find something that I don't have a keyword for, then I'll add it in. Uh, but for the most part, I don't have to go into the keyword HUD. I can do everything from you know the keyword. Uh, button bar. So let's get into that. So what I will do is I'll highlight my first photo. I'll put my uh, my cursor in here for the keywords. And um, you know, first and foremost, I know that uh, I tend to work from you know people and the subject, and then place, and then you know image type is just kind of general characteristics. I'll have on every photo. So that's why I leave image type as my default collection. Now, um, I know that this was taken in Santa Cruz, so I'll type in, do I have Santa Cruz as a keyword? Hey, look at that, I don't have Santa Cruz as a keyword, so you get to see me add one in. So I'll go to capital H, now Santa Cruz is in California, and let me move that out of the way, uh, here we go. So um, I will... My keyword happened to be unlocked at the moment, which is usually dangerous for me. I tend to leave it locked because of uh, photo stream. So let me add a subordinate keyword to California, Santa Cruz, and then I'll lock. This is how I normally have my uh, my keywords always locked. So um, I obviously made a boo boo when I was uh, doing something else recently. So got that done. Now I'll be able to type that in. So Santa Cruz. And you have to pause a little bit for the typing to let the uh, autofill catch up. So I know it's in Santa Cruz. What is this? This is a picture of a path. You know, uh, there's a tree. There's trees in it. Um, this was taken at a park. So parks. There we go. Uh, what else about this picture? There's a picnic bench in the back. So is there a bench? Yeah, I've got one of those. And, you know, this is outdoor. I'd consider a landscape. And that's about what I need for this picture. Um, now, the next two happen to be the same thing. So I will lift my metadata. Um, I'm not changing my rating or label, just the keywords. Highlight those, stamp the images. Great. Those are done. I'll highlight all three of those. Command 3. I now get this stacks highlight. Uh, whether I need to stack these or not, that'll be my next step. 
And I'll do the same for the next set of images. So I'll just do this set of images here. And you know, this will largely apply to just about everything else. Um, let's start with, again, Santa Cruz. And yes, by now I probably would have selected all the photos and hit Santa Cruz. Um, Actually, you know, a lot of times I don't do that because I do want my workflow to be self-documenting. And if a tag is orange, that means I'm not done keywording it. Uh, I try not to keyword partially, like doing keywords for the places, but I haven't done keywords for the image types. Um, so, you know, that's, um, while it's tempting to go and do it, uh, I, I tend not to. So let's see, this is Santa Cruz, this is obviously a beach, we've got some rocks, we've got the ocean, great. Again, it's outdoor, it's a landscape. Um, it happens to be taken in winter, so I'll, I'll note that, because um, that's a little bit unique for the beach, perhaps. Um, seasons, I'm you know, hit or miss on, quite honestly, but uh, let's see, the other thing I will add to this is reflection. This has a reflection in it. That's something I would like to know and, and search for in the future. Um, this is emphasizing some of the sky, so I'll put sky, and I do have a little bit of cloud cover, so I'll say clouds. And the last thing I will do on this set, since um, you can see this is a negative one exposure, all of these were taken as an HDR, so I actually do have a keyword for HDR, so I'll add that. Um, and then I would hit option three, this is something I need to go stack. Now, uh, again, this is an area where I would do a, a more rapid workflow where I know that these images need to be stacked. I stack my HDR exposures. Uh, that's just how I like to organize my pictures. So I'll immediately, I'll just do it right now. I'll do a Command K. They're stacked. See that here? They're all in the stack now. Um, I'll highlight all the pictures in the stack, and I will do an option, sorry, a command four, and they're going to be green. Green is my color tag for uh, needing a location. So we can already see that, you know, I've got this, you know, <laughs> relative, let me shrink this down a little bit, this relative rainbow going on already. I've got some orange pictures, uh, some yellow, some green, and at this point, if I had to go away from the computer and go do something else, um, whatever it might be, when I come back, I would all I would know you know what do I need to work on? No, this I need to uh, do. I need to stack these or not? I'd come back and look at these. You know, maybe these are a stack because they're kind of similar. Well, let me go do that. I'll just do it right now. Here's my stack. Uh, that one I make that the pick because I rated it higher, and now that's a four. This one obviously it's all by itself doesn't need to be stacked. Um, this one I've got messed up somehow. So let me take these and pull them out of the stack. I must extinct uh, items, split stack, that's what I want to do. So, um, you can see you know, I, the, the workflow, the color things help me keep me organized. I will bend the rules to speed things up. You know, as you get comfortable with your workflow, you'll go through things faster. So again, what I will be doing now is taking, you know, these keywords, let's do that, and uh, lift metadata. Again, I'm only interested in the keywords. And let me go down just to when it was you know, later in the shoot. So um, I'll stamp the keywords on those images. I'll also add in sunset, because these ones were taken you know, later in the day and the sun's really going down. Uh, again, I know these are going to be stacked, so you know, letter of the law, I'd mark them as yellow, stack them, Highlight them again, mark them as location needed green. And I'll go through the rest of these photos doing the same type of thing. Um, so that's, um, that's basic keywording, and then uh, we actually bled into stacks. All right, um, so next time we come back, we should see everything is green, and we'll get into doing, uh, doing places, you know, putting uh, geotags on these. Thanks again. <laughs>